have a car vlog so why not start it first thing in the morning <laughs> it is what time is it seven o'clock and i am on my way from the studio to a doctor's appointment um so i had my beautiful emma this morning at 6 15 so bright and early this morning um i like that the sun is starting to come up earlier that's what i'm saying to her i love that like it's seven o'clock and the sun is out like oh, it's it's so good i love i'm i'm such a morning person in summer in winter can't be but in summer i love being able to get up and like have the sun on my face even though it's cold it's just nice um so yeah i'm on my way to a doctor's appointment it is a drinking tea don't worry i'm at a red light drinking tea and eating my mini muffins while I say hello to people on the bus next to me type of morning. Um, so I have a couple of, uh, a couple more PT sessions after my doctor's appointment this morning, and then I'm getting a breezer delivered today. How exciting. Um, so I can store all my ice for, um, Diamante Tea Boutique. And then, um, I've got classes tonight. I've got my minis tonight. Oh, you're going to love my minis. I'm going to see if I can video some of them. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a good day. So I need to edit some videos today. That's what I need to, I need to actually do so I can upload some, but, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. I'll see you guys soon. Okay. I am back at the studio. Dr. Spoma went well. Um, I've made myself a coffee. I spilt it everywhere, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I've turned the heater on cause it's bloody freezing today, but what I'm doing, I'm, I've got a client in like five minutes, so she should be here any minute, but this little space here next to my office I was using for storage and I was doing all of my tea stuff in that room there but that doesn't really make sense does it because when I start serving teas they're gonna have to come from over here so I've moved I'm getting a freezer delivered and I'm gonna put the freezer behind there and I'm gonna see if my mum can help me move all of my tea stuff from this room to behind that little nook there and then I'm just gonna use this room here as like a storage room um, I think, I think that'll work better. I'm talking out loud because I'm like, I'm trying to convince myself that it'll work better because this is a bigger space. However, so this is the tea setup, but it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense for it to be super far away. So oh, I need to turn the heater off now, I'm hot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get the freezer put behind here. So if I change my mind, we only have to move the freezer. We don't have to move everything, but I'm gonna get the freezer here first. And then we're gonna see what's what. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I've got um, Ruby um, next, and then I've got Cass and then Mum. Um, I had, I need to have some more food because I'm hungry. So I might just like scoff some protein chips or something like that. Um, Cause I've literally got five minutes before Ruby gets here. But I also need to go and buy a set of shelves to go behind here because I want to move my merch into oh do I want to move that I don't know I need to try and come up with a system that works well I'm very big on like systems so ideally I want everything I'm selling like behind here so I don't need to go anywhere and then ideally all my storage stuff like in that room that's the people delivering the freezer letting me know when they're coming okay um, I'm gonna go because I have to eat some food and message these people back and then I'll chat to you when the phrase is hopefully delivered or I'm with or I'm with a client we'll see maybe I'll video when Cass gets here okay I have just finished with my beautiful clients um, I can see my freezer getting delivered as we speak is about to pull in I'm excited and then I need to duck out and go and get some ice to fill up the freezer and I also need to go to Kmart and get some shelves um, to put all my cups and stuff like that. So that's on the plan for today, but it's almost one o'clock and I start back here at three. So we have to be fairly brisk. Um, and then I've got all my, I've got some private lessons and then my minis. Oh, he's following me, I've got to go back. Let's get the freezer. Look how big she is. She's huge. Fit a stupid amount of ice in there. Um, but it's good. It means that I now need to go and buy a new 
desk slash table because that space is a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. But we're going to make it work. Hopefully. Too bright. Um, I might just have to end up using under my desk here as like more storagey stuff than I thought I was going to. But that's okay. We're going to make it work. I need to go and get some food. I also need to go and get some ice. And I need to go and get some shelves. I have exactly nurse hours to go and get all of that stuff. But I wonder if I can just go to Wanneroo. We're gonna check in, we're gonna check in. Watch me go and get stuff, okay. Okay, I'm glad I didn't go and buy ice first because I was a bit of an idiot and I didn't think about the fact that my freezer needs to get to like a rosin damager before I just go and stick ice in it. So, I went and got my shelving instead. Um, and now I'm gonna go. I hate flat packs with a burning passion. I did so many of them as I was setting up my studio. So now whenever I have to do a flat pack, I just avoid it at all costs. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do it straight away so I can't avoid it. <laughs> and then, oh, I didn't get lunch. Hmm, surely I've got food in the studio somewhere. I've always got food somewhere in the studio. Okay, so, went into cash converters for a piano. All the pianos were garbage. So I messaged Georgia, who I gave my old piano to, and was like, can I have it back, please? Um, because I don't have a piano anymore, and I need a piano. And she was like, fine. But I did get a smoke machine. Why? I don't know. I just felt like buying a smoke machine and they had them for cheap so why wouldn't you get a smoke machine so we're gonna go back to the studio and once I've built my furniture I'm gonna make sure I build my furniture first but once I've built my furniture we're gonna try and figure out how the smoke machine works because like what a vibe am I wrong no wow this will be fun the kids are gonna love it tonight this is minis tonight so the minis I have to check if none of them are asthmatic and if none, none of them are asthmatic. Oh, we're gonna have such a time. They're gonna love it. Oh my God. How exciting. Okay. Okay, so I kind of want to explain what's going on in this clip a little bit because it looks like I'm just doing like random motions and not talking to the kids. So one of our um, class management strategies that we've been trying out for the past couple of weeks is using Auslan in um, our flexibility class because that's the, the one that the kids know the routine the best. So a lot of the corrections I'm giving them are really simple corrections or really simple instructions. Um, so they've been learning their please and their thank you and asking to go to the toilet in Auslan as well as their rights and their lefts and how to say stretch your feet, stretch your knees. Um, so it's a really good way to make them concentrate but it's also a really good learning strategy for them um, to learn a little bit of Auslan so yeah that's what we've been doing in this class and it's been working amazing so anytime the kids use a sign correctly or if they learn a new sign or if they apply the correction once I've signed it they get a sticker towards their sticker system and I think I've explained the sticker system in the past but I'm going to do a whole video on um, classroom management so you guys can kind of see the things that I do especially in the minis classes to keep them from being um, absolutely hectic so yeah that's that's what we're doing here. Um, and just as a little disclaimer, I am still learning sign language. I am not perfect at it. My kids are trying their absolute darndest. So a lot of it um, for them while they're still learning words is pointing and mouthing words. And honestly, um, they're doing an amazing job at it. So you can see they're having an amazing time. But um, yeah, we're all, we're all doing our best to, to learn at the same time, which is awesome. Okay, so... My kids came a little bit early, so I, um, but I had two private lessons. I finished a duo 
and then um, I did three hours of minis. I didn't get to finish my thing, so it's quarter past seven now, and I'm gonna try and be out of here by eight o'clock. I wanna have this finished and sorted, and then I need to clean a bit, because um, I'm back here at 5.45 tomorrow morning. I'm gonna see whether we can we can smash it out and then go home and be home by 8.30. That's the goal. So I'm not gonna vlog this. I, I'm gonna insert a tiny bit of how I've started teaching my stretch classes. I start doing it by miming to keep the sound to a minimum. Because if you do three hours of minis, you end up pulling your hair out if you don't have some sort of classroom management. So um, yeah, we do stickers and we do um, the silent um, acting to try and work out whether they can figure out what stretch I'm asking for. So if they can, then they get a sticker. Um, so yeah, I'll explain a little bit more of that in another vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and finish this and see how we go. <laughs> It was a cereal for dinner kind of night. I'm pooped. Um, it's a lot later than I wanted it to be. I didn't leave the studio until 8.30. So I didn't get home until about 9. So it's about 9.30 now. Um, I'm going to shower, go to bed. I have to set my alarm for 4.30 tomorrow morning. Amazing. So I'm going to go. I'm just going to get straight into bed because I am deathly tired. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today. Again, I like, <coughs> oh my God, I'm dying. This is just like my life. And if you guys want to see any like specific stuff, let me know. But I'm just filming my day because some people find it interesting and I am using it as a way to like talk to people because I am home alone for the next six months. Um, and it gives me someone to chat to throughout my day. So oh, I keep touching my hair in my, I keep going back and editing and I keep touching my hair. Um, but yeah, I, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and putting up with me. Um, hope you have a beautiful day and I love you guys. I'll see you later. <laughs>